Brace yourselves because the wait is finally over. That's right, the moment we've all been eagerly anticipating has arrived. The latest batch of Rolex watches has been unleashed upon the world, and let me tell you it's a game changer. Now, let me start by painting a picture for you. Imagine a sleek, stylish timepiece that embodies elegance and sophistication. Got it? Good. Well, this new collection from Rolex includes a stunning gem known as the Cosmograph Daytona. And here's the kicker. It's been given a remarkable makeover to celebrate the 60th anniversary of its inception. At first glance, you might think it's just a minor facelift, a simple update to its appearance. And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. But oh, there's so much more to uncover beneath the surface. Turn that watch over, and what do you find? Behold, the brand new Caliber 4131, a mechanism that will leave watch enthusiasts swooning. And the best part? It's right there, proudly displayed through a transparent back. Talk about a showstopper. Now, let's dive into the specifics of the Rolex Daytona 2023 collection. Of course, we have the much-anticipated steel model, the 126,500 iron which is sure to be a hit among collectors. But that's not all. Brace yourself for a delightful array of options, including two-tone, gold, and platinum editions. It's like stepping into a treasure trove of horological excellence. But before I get into it deeply, let me tell you a little history of where the Daytona comes from. And make sure to hit that subscribe button for more watch content. It all began in 1963 when the first Daytona was born. Over the years, it has become a symbol of excellence. Fast forward to the year 2000, Rolex introduced the 116,520 and 116,500 LN models in steel, featuring their newly developed in-house caliber 4130. These models marked a significant milestone, as it had been more than two decades since the last major update. Now let's delve into the visual aspects of the updated Cosmograph Daytona. The design follows the same principles as recently refreshed models, boasting refined cases and sharper lines. The cases have a slightly more tapered and less rounded appearance. Nevertheless, the Daytona retains its unmistakable identity. The 100 meters water-resistant case, equipped with a screw-down crown and screwed pushes, maintains its proportions of 40 millimeters in diameter had a relatively thin profile of 11.90 millimeters the lug width remains at 20 millimeters. In this new collection, most models feature a serochrome bezel, but there is a notable change. Now the bezel showcases an insert with a thin metallic band surrounding it, providing greater contrast and an airy sensation. This can be observed in the new steel reference 126,500 LN, where a black insert is outlined by a finely polished steel ring. As for the bracelets, the majority of models still sport the three-link oyster bracelet, secured by an oyster lock clasp, which includes a 5mm Easy-Link Comfort extension for a perfect fit. Picture this. The dials of this remarkable timepiece have undergone a delightful makeover. The once bulky rings surrounding the sub-counters have been gracefully slimmed down, creating a more refined look. The contrast between the sub-counters and the base dial has been enhanced, giving the watch a striking appearance. The markers on the dial, oh, they appear so delicately thin and sharply defined. Let me give you a glimpse of two exquisite models. First, the Platinum Daytona 126506, boasting a timeless light blue dial with a chestnut brown ceramic bezel, and those thinner, sharper rings on the subdeals. It's a sight to behold. And then we have the white dial steel Daytona 126500 LN, exuding elegance with its improved markers and sub-dial rings. But let's not forget about the Evero Daytona 126505, where the bright black dial is brushed with a mesmerizing sunray effect, featuring full sundust gold-colored counters. Now let's dive into the technical marvel that lies within this marvelously redesigned timepiece. The new movement, Caliber 4131, builds upon the already advanced 4130, but it doesn't stop there. This extraordinary movement now showcases the patented Chromagy escapement, a blue parachrom hairspring, and maintains the impressive 4 Hz frequency at a 72-hour power reserve of its predecessor. The rotor has been given a fresh new design, and the overall decoration has been refined to perfection. 
Just imagine the bridges of caliber 4131 adorned with a captivating Rolex Curtis de Genève decoration, distinguished by the addition of a subtly polished groove between each band. Truly a work of art. And fear not, the chronograph function remains just as robust, thanks to its column wheel and vertical clutch mechanism. It's got a solid gold rotor inside, and you can actually see it through a sapphire case back. Can you imagine? It's not something you'd expect from Rolex. The only downside is that the gold and stainless steel Daytona versions don't have the same see-through back, which is a shame because the new movement decoration looks really attractive. The new Rolex Daytona 2023 collection is launched now and will soon be available from retailers, with, of course, the same low availability as before, no doubt about that. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.